Okay, so I'm going to do a close-up demo of the quill working now. Right, so engage the spindle at the top there to number one. Okay, and there's the quill. Right, you don't want to engage the quill, just a reminder, when it's all the way at the top or all the way at the bottom there. So, just come off, because the whole mechanism needs to lift up, and there's another little lever hidden under there that you can't see at the moment, and it's critical that, that can move to engage the quill system. So when you pull this lever over, Okay, it's wanted to go up, so we, we don't we don't force it. Just push this lever back in, forward and reverse, then engage again. You see it feeds down just great. So you know if it's not going to engage straight away, stop, and then just see what's wrong. And that one, in that case, it was that feed reverse lever just wanted to go back in, and then you're good. So you see the handle going around. Also, you can see the Z scale. Good going to read out on there so this scale is going to read out on there all right when it hits that stop it'll trip out automatically which it does okay again so we're going to want to go back up now we come off the stop okay we reverse this handle by pulling it out so that one just pulled it out and then engage the feed again see it feeds up so for every spindle speed, you've got three different feed rates. So this one, that's in the highest at the moment. It's a bit tricky with one hand. That's the slowest. And that's the medium feed there. And it's working in all three. I'll go back again. So that's the slowest. And that's the highest there. It's working in all three. Okay. You tend not to feed all the way up to the top anyway. Okay, reverse it again. Again, I'm off the stop. There's a bit of a gap there. Enough for your finger to get in, that's perfect. And then engage the feed again, and away we go. So that's working absolutely perfectly. And it's giving a good feedback over there on the DRO from this scale. Okay. There's the quill demo over. Oh, I'll put it up to the top, and then I'll put the quill lock on. Nice and tight, quill lock works great.